Ask the Editor. I'm Corey Stamper, an associate editor at Merriam-Webster. While corresponding with someone a while ago, I wrote, the book which addresses this topic is a usage dictionary. My correspondent took great joy in pointing out that I was wrong for using which instead of that. Was I? There is a rule about the use of that in which. It's this. That is used to introduce a restrictive clause, that is, a clause with a meaning that's essential to the sentence. Which is used to introduce a non-restrictive clause, a clause with a meaning that's not essential. Take the sentence, the book that addresses this topic is a usage dictionary. The restrictive clause that addresses this topic is essential. Without it, we don't know what book is being talked about. The sentence, the book, which is blue, is a usage dictionary, has the non-restrictive clause, which is blue. Although it's nice to know the color of the book, we don't actually need that information. So why would I use which in a restrictive clause? Because English speakers have been doing that for centuries. Long ago, that and which were both used to introduce both kinds of clauses. That fell out of literary use during the 17th century, but resurfaced a few decades later, at which point some grammarians decided it would be tidy to make that the king of restrictive clauses and which the king of non-restrictive ones. But, as is often the case, many English speakers didn't get that memo. That settled comfortably into its restrictive clauses role, but which was used, and continues to be used, in both restrictive and non-restrictive clauses. Should you care? Well, you should be aware that some people take the that which rule very seriously. But if you prefer the restrictive which, you can use it, because you know the history which precedes it. For more episodes of Ask the Editor, visit merriamwebster.com.